welcome to this very needed and extremely overdue video. Every day for every meal we eat at this table, as you can see, and it has taken its toll on the finish, on the stain and everything. So today I'm just gonna go ahead and refinish this table, get it back to looking the way that it needs to. I'm gonna be using the Men Wax Polyurethane and their wood finish. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this video. We have a lot of work to do but I am really excited for you guys to see the end. It turned out so beautiful and I'm really happy that I went ahead and did it. I was really debating on even keeping this table or getting something newer and smaller, mainly because this is such a small dining area, but the quality is so much better than anything that I found. And because this isn't our forever home, I didn't want to downsize now and then we move and then I have to get something bigger later. So I was just like, you know what? I decided to work with what I have, go ahead and repair the top and save some money all at the same time. The original finish on this table is literally gone. I mean, there is none at all. As you can see, I'm sanding it with ease. There was no problem getting down to the, to the stain that they had on here. And that worked out for my benefit because I didn't have to use any of the citrus stripper, you know, to put it on there to get the finish off. No, came off pretty good with a um, 80 grit sandpaper. I believe that's what I used. Um, I'm not 100% sure. But as you can see, it's coming off fairly easily. It didn't take too much elbow grease, which was nice because this was a pretty long process. But guys, can we talk about the natural beauty of this wood? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I really was torn. I was like, man, I would love to just keep it this color and just, you know, put another finish on it and have that light white oak look. But of course, then it's not gonna match with the chairs. And then I'm like, well, I would wanna buy new chairs. And I was just like, you know what? No, I'm just gonna keep doing what I originally planned. I'm just gonna go ahead and re-stain it and finish it. And then maybe a few years from now down the road, when I'm feeling brave, I will take this table and bring it to its full potential and really make it that dining room statement that I want it to be. But for now, I just wanted to get it being presentable again, especially with the holidays coming and just have it so that we can use it and it doesn't look as horrible as it was before. Sorry guys, but dust was settling everywhere on the camera. So when I noticed it, I got up and I cleaned it off. But yeah, this was really messy in this area. I don't know how people think that they can sand inside their house because you will have a huge mess on your hands. I really love projects like this where you can take something that looks so beat up and worn out and make it beautiful again. And, and it's a life lesson really for all of us that the past doesn't have to define us at all. And with God's help and our willingness to adjust our behavior, we can not only get to a point where we are living better lives, but honestly thriving and with a heart full of purpose and satisfaction that only can be found in Him. And so none of us are a lost cause. Just like this table, there's so much more potential than we realize. And the restoration that's there that we have access to will be beyond anything that we could ever imagine. So I am all done doing that first layer of sanding there. It is so pretty, guys. I really like this tabletop like this. Like, I wish I could keep it like this, but I'll get over it. It's fine. So I did my 80 um, grit. Now I'm going to go in with my 220 to give it that nice, smooth finish so that it doesn't feel so rough anymore, so that that texture is ready to get polyurethane and sealed.
while I'm sanding, I'm going with the grain. It's kind of diagonal, so that made it kind of weird. But now that all the sanding is done, I can go ahead and do the staining, which was pretty easy, even though I really was not 100% sure what I was doing. As you could tell, like the first couple of passes, I didn't do enough. Um, and I read where some people were like, yes, go with the grain. And then some people were like, no, don't go with the grain because that really gets it into the wood. So I really was not 100% sure. This is not a tutorial, by the way. This is just you guys going along with me with this journey. Like I don't want to give anybody in the impression that I do this frequently and that I've done this before. This is literally my first time doing a dining room table. I mean, I have polyurethane wood before, but staining and doing the polyurethane on a piece that is as massive as a dining room table and that will get as much wear and tear as a dining room table i've never done it before so i don't have the advice and the tips and all of that no i'm just kind of doing this because it was something that really needed to be done and i just went off of what other people had done in their experiences and their advice so not a tutorial don't follow me step by step please don't i don't want you to come after me when your stuff comes out wrong but um yeah so i'm just going through and doing the staining like i said i wasn't exactly 100 percent sure and on this side i put way more stain so it came out darker but i was able to go back and forth and kind of remedy and wiping up the excess pretty quickly is what made that a lot um lighter and i was able to match the colors easier Now here you can see the middle piece, the extension piece that's there is a different type of wood than what's on the two sides. So I had to kind of work with that to kind of mask um, the fact that it is a different type of wood there. But with doing another coat of stain, that was able to be remedied fairly quickly. And the end result, you really can't even tell. So the next day everything is dry i'm just going by and wiping the table really good so i can go in through with my first coat of polyurethane just small strokes going back and forth very smooth and this will be my first coat of polyurethane that i'll apply application process is very easy but I do just want to make sure that I am wiping off any um, thing that may drip off of the side just to give it a nice smooth finish so of course with polyurethane you have to go back through after it dries sand it down do another coat I did all of that off of camera and now I am gonna go ahead and put it back in the kitchen. It is all dry and we are so ready to have our table back. My kitchen was a mess. This is what we were using, this tiny fold out table. <laughs> so we were all pretty excited to see the kitchen come back together. And this table is completely solid wood. I mean, completely solid. There's no filler or fake anything in there it is so heavy that's why i had to take the the extension part out and put it back in and take it out and put it back in because i literally could not move it without doing that and i had to take the legs off because it was very difficult to move with the legs on too but um now i'm just putting it back together and this is the moment that i have been waiting for for a few days it took a while for everything to dry properly because it was pretty cold so um, it took a little bit longer than I expected for it to um, dry because of the weather. But other than that, it turned out really, really nice. And I got a few more decorations for it. You guys know how much I love to decorate. This is my favorite part. And I'm just making it complete. I 
I wanted to add a little bit of moodiness to the table, so I added a few more things with the black salt and pepper containers and the candle, and then brighten it up with the, the Marble Lazy Susan, but I love it. And this is what it used to look like before. It was absolutely terrible. I mean, I'm ashamed. And now it is so pretty. I really, really am glad that I did it. That's a wrap for this video guys. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that it was motivating for you to get your projects done too. And if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button. I have a lot more things like this coming your way and hit the like button as well, which helps me out a lot. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.